The United States Secretary of Homeland Security is the head of the United States Department of Homeland Security, the body concerned with protecting the U.S. and the safety of U.S. citizens. The Secretary is a member of the President's Cabinet. The position was created by the Homeland Security Act following the attacks of September 11, 2001. The new department consisted primarily of components transferred from other cabinet departments because of their role in homeland security, such as the Coast Guard, the Federal Protective Service, U.S. Customs and Border Protection which includes the Border Patrol, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement which includes Homeland Security Investigations, the Secret Service, and the Federal Emergency Management Agency FEMA. It did not, however, include the FBI or the CIA. On January 20, 2009, the Senate confirmed Barack Obama Obama's appointment of Janet Napolitano to be the third Secretary of Homeland Security, effective January 21, 2009. Napolitano resigned effective August 2013 to head the University of California. On October 17, President Obama announced his intention to nominate former General Counsel of the Department of Defense Jay Johnson, and on December 16, the U.S. Senate confirmed the nomination. The current Secretary of Homeland Security is Kirsten Nielsen following the appointment of the then incumbent Secretary, John F. Kelly, to the post of White House Chief of Staff by President Donald Trump. It was announced on October 12, 2017, that Kirsten Nielsen was nominated as Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security by President Donald Trump. She was confirmed by the Senate on December 5, 2017. Topic: <inaudible> Inclusion in the presidential line of succession. Traditionally, the order of the presidential line of succession is determined after the vice president, speaker of the house, and president pro tempore of the Senate by the order of the creation of the cabinet positions, and the list as mandated under 3 U.S.C. Section 19 follows this tradition. On March 7, 2006, 43rd President George W. Bush signed H.R. 3199 as Pub. L. 109-177, which renewed the still controversial Patriot Act of 2001 and amended the Presidential Succession Act of 1947 to include the newly created Presidential Cabinet position of Secretary of Homeland Security in the line of succession after the previously authorized Secretary of Veterans Affairs Section 503, which are listed and designated in the order that their departments were created. In the 109th Congress, legislation was introduced to place the Secretary of Homeland Security into the line of succession after the Attorney General but that bill expired at the end of the 109th Congress and was not reintroduced. <laughs> <laughs> List of Secretaries of Homeland Security Prior to the establishment of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, there existed an assistant to the President for the Office of Homeland Security, which was created following the September 11 attacks in 2001. Parties Republican 2 Democratic 2 Independent 2 Status denotes Acting Homeland Security Secretary 1 James Loy served as Acting Secretary in his capacity as Deputy Secretary of Homeland Security from February 1, 2005, to February 15, 2005. 2 Rand Beers served as Acting Secretary in his capacity as confirmed Under Secretary of Homeland Security for National Protection and Programs and Acting Deputy Secretary of Homeland Security. Beers was the highest ranking Senate approved presidential appointee at the Department of Homeland Security from September 6, 2013, to December 23, 2013. 3 Elaine Duke served as Acting Secretary in her capacity as Deputy Secretary of Homeland Security from July 31, 2017, to December 6, 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Living former Secretaries of Homeland Security As of November 2018, all five former Secretaries of Homeland Security are still living, as are all three former Acting Secretaries of Homeland Security. The oldest being former Acting Secretary James Loy born 1942. <laughs> <laughs> Order of Succession The Order of Succession for the Secretary of Homeland Security is as follows. 
Deputy Secretary of Homeland Security Under Secretary of Homeland Security for National Protection and Programs Under Secretary of Homeland Security for Management Under Secretary, Office of Strategy, Policy, and Plans Under Secretary of Homeland Security for Science and Technology General Counsel of the Department of Homeland Security Administrator of the Transportation Security Administration Administrator of the Federal Emergency Management Agency Commissioner of U.S. Customs and Border Protection Director of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Director of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services Chief Financial Officer Regional Administrator, Region 5, Federal Emergency Management Agency Regional Administrator, Region 6, Federal Emergency Management Agency Regional Administrator, Region 7, Federal Emergency Management Agency Regional Administrator, Region 9, Federal Emergency Management Agency Regional Administrator, Region 1, Federal Emergency Management Agency Administration cited potential nominees Bernard Carrick George W. Bush nominated Bernard Carrick for the position in 2004. However a week later, Carrick withdrew his nomination, explaining that he had employed an illegal immigrant as a nanny. Raymond Kelly By July 2013, Raymond Kelly had served as Commissioner of the New York City Police Department for nearly 12 straight years. Within days of Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano's announcement that she was resigning, Kelly was soon cited as an obvious potential successor by New York Senator Charles Schumer and others. During a July 16, 2013, interview, President Obama referred generally to the bunch of strong candidates for nomination to head the Department of Homeland Security, but singled out Kelly as one of the best there is and very well qualified for the job. Later in July 2013, the online internet news website, magazine Huffington Post detailed, a growing campaign to quash the potential nomination of New York City Police Commissioner Raymond Kelly as the next Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, amid claims of, divisive, harmful, and ineffective policing that promotes stereotypes and profiling. Days after that article, Kelly penned a statistics-heavy Wall Street Journal opinion article defending the NYPD's programs, stating, "...the average number of stops we conduct is less than one per officer per week," and that this and other practices have led to 7,383 lives saved, and they are largely the lives of young men of color. Kelly was also featured because of his NYPD retirement and unusually long tenure there in a long segment on the CBS News program Sunday morning in December 2013, especially raising the question of the controversial stop and frisk policy in New York City and the long decline and drop of various types of crimes committed. <laughs> 